Hello and thank you again for your support as Patreon. In this file you're going to get a zombie head rig. And just in case that you're wondering why do I have this viewport like this, you can activate the transforms overview here. Overlay, I'm sorry. And the overall overlay elements over here. So that's how I got it. So switch that off, switch that off. Right click on this area, uncheck show header and this is how you get it. Why do we want to make this uh, like this? Because when you select the bones and then press tab, enter pose mode, you can grab this yellow controller and start moving this guy around, okay? This rig was just so that you can see as a proof of concept you, that you can animate really cartoony stuff from here. So you can grab this and move it around and use always the white circle for 2D animation which is by the way done in the front orthographic view of the Blender viewport. You can of course, once you have everything set up and animated, uh, move this in 3D. Also you have controls for the mouth. So if you grab this and then you move this, you're gonna see that the mouth moves in an offset from its own grease pencil timeline using a modifier which is a time offset modifier right here I'm going to select my zombie head I'm going to come here so you can see it much better to my outline the character and the character has all of these modifiers we have a lattice to move around the chin for example if I come here I have this deformer right here press tab going to post mode all of these are bones and then you can grab this and then manipulate your chin however you want of course if you select this transformer you can also move the chin and do some nifty stuff there you can try all of the other controllers as well and of course you can uh, move the eye the eyeball the complete eyeball there and if you play it back, it's only for 20 frames right now. If you play it back, you'll see that the mouth is not coordinated with these controllers. Because I still need to complete that. But if you don't mind and if you want to take a look at this file already, don't worry. Once I finish the, the complete file so you can make this guy animated and speak, then I will share it as an update for all of the current Patreons. So don't forget that you also have these eyelid controllers where you can play with this guy. Select that yellow, I'm sorry, that blue ball right there, which is named the eyelid low deformer. So that means it is a deformer, so therefore you can grab it and, you know, move it and manipulate it however you want. This is just incredible, and this building and the nails have time offsets, um, I'm sorry, wiggle bone offset so if you grab this which is the main control I'm going to be moving like that you can see the offset of the timing there so if you don't mind just the mouth issue I will be posting the drivers formula so you can do that on your own or you can directly download this file and thank you so much for your support again